Good morning, guys. I'm super happy today because David's here with me and we have the same fitness goals, which is to be a better fighter, lose weight, and the one thing that David is missing is weights, which I've still been doing. So I'm gonna walk David through some training, some timed barbell movements so he can build some muscle and lose some weight. And he looks very unenthusiastic, but I know he's super excited on the inside. I fucking hate it. <laughs> That's cool. Like, I get it. Like, I get it. <laughs> <laughs> get what, dude? I get it. 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 You do. You haven't squatted in how long? Yeah. I mean, it's like problematic. So, like, you know, you get better with technique. Your endurance gets better. But like even when you like like for example I grapple with them right it doesn't matter like let's say I start taking grapple like I'm, I'm taking jujitsu and grappling it doesn't matter he's hella stronger than me I can't do anything it literally feels like I'm wrestling my father at the age of three and you know what's funny I'm probably at like a white belt I know <laughs> <laughs> it hurts <laughs> I'm at a white belt jujitsu level and I'm also lighter than David but then when I grab David he has something to do yeah it's tough it's it's a rough life out there. Workout. How'd you like it? Terrible. What do you mean? Don't you feel stronger already? No. Finally lifting weights. <laughs> Got gotcha. you. Look at my shirt, dude. Do your workouts usually look like this? It does. It's just it's different. So like, number one, I don't really weight train anymore. Not because I absolutely hate weight training. It's just because like when I started working out, usually what happens is Bart probably mentioned it earlier in the videos is that. I, I, go, I go too hard, you know what I mean? So I have a perception of who I was before, and so I take that perception and I still think I have that same body, <laughs> you know? So I'll overload the weights, I'll put like two, I'll put 225 on, I'm like, I'm gonna rep this out. I do one day, and then I throw up my back, yeah. and you know, so there's no like... Easing uh, into it. Exactly, and so like I've been staying away from weights, and starting, you know, to do just baby steps, and I mentioned this in the video on my channel where I literally just started walking, and that just became a habit, so I'm developing these small like habits. a literal baby. <laughs> See that? He likes to give compliments and rip it away from me. <laughs> so I started walking three to four miles a day and I was 260 pounds. And I'm probably actually just, that's 260 on my good day too. So I probably was a little more. And then I started walking every day. And now that I've, I've lost about like 42 pounds with Muay Thai, I'm finding out while I'm sparring people and training is that number one, now I'm going too soft. <laughs> you know what I mean? I'm not going hard enough. So these people on a physical level, they're, it doesn't matter if my technique is better. Technique is great, but if I hit them and it doesn't do anything to them, <laughs> that's another problem. So their strength is way above mine. And some people too, when you fight and you spar them, it doesn't matter how technically great you are. Some people are just fucking bangers. Yeah. They just grip. Bart is one of those people. Bart likes to sit in the clinch and he likes to bang out. I'm different. Like I'm used to Taekwondo, so I'm used to staying out. But if I tap him or if I hit him once, it doesn't matter because he'll continue and he'll go in and I don't have that strength or like stamina. So that's why weight training is going to be super important. I'm stepping up my workouts accordingly. Yeah, so today's workout was mainly powerlifting because uh, I'm still prepping for the meet. Uh, but I did adjust my light volume day uh, to be geared more towards the Muay Thai training. So instead of resting like a minute to a minute and a half, we only rest like 30 seconds. And I did 225 on the squats. David did 135. We did three sets of 10 back to back. Boom, boom, boom. And we finished that probably in less than 15 minutes. Moved on to the bench. I benched 185, we did 95, and once again, less than 30 seconds rest. We're just back and forth, and then we finished with a small circuit. That's not even a real circuit, to be honest. Hmm. It's just for bodybuilding and just for maintaining. We so, didn't throw any kettlebells, no burpees. The last time I hit real circuit, by the way, my chest was sore for a month. Like, I, it was sore for a fucking month. And it was a leg circuit. <laughs> <laughs> that shit was terrible. I, I forgot what we did, but it was, compounded exercise for each powerlifting move, and then on top of that, we did high volume, high intensity circuits, but we did three of them. Yeah, yeah. Back to back to that back to back. Tough. That shit was rough, and I was 20 pounds heavier than I am now, yeah. which was deathly. One thing that's really dope that I noticed about you now is uh, through all the Muay Thai training, even though you feel like you got weaker, your stamina is way better. Like going from workout to workout, before when I trained with you, I would see you go from exercise one to exercise two, your motivation's like here, yeah. and then here, and here. But now I can see you still here, uh -huh. like stay high all the way up top and continue all the way through. So for sure your stamina's way better. I just consistently complain through everything. Yeah. He's like a Cadbury egg. It's chocolate on the outside, a shitty ass caramel on the inside. Yeah. 
this is how it worked out. This is called the David So technique. You do everything to its optimal ability, but you complain just as much. <laughs> but as long as you get the workout done, you can complain as much as you want. And I see David looking over, and when he sees me seeing him, he's like, oh, oh. <laughs> as soon as I turn around, he's like. <laughs> I just <laughs> <laughs> We finished the circuit with uh, face pulls, lat pull downs, and planks. Planks is one of the best prehab workouts for your abs, your obliques, and your lower back. Prehab and actual uh, just core strengthening. We finished off with some shadow boxing and some bad work and some shin hardening work, and then that's it for uh, today's workout. You're gonna come back again. God damn it. I do need to though. Like it's it's, it's kind of cool because you get to see like perspectively where you're at. No, not so much in like a, a physical sense, but just like Muay Thai fighting is just beyond just doing the technique and kicking. You know what I mean? Yeah. Just like a, I, I genuinely believe like the other 60% of it is conditioning. Yeah. The conditioning is everything, you know what I mean? So like even like, let's say he and I, we spar. Let's say just in, in this world, like technically I'll get him, right? But I'll last about 20 seconds. 20 seconds, I still have to do that for another like three rounds. Is that possible? If it's not, it doesn't fucking matter. <laughs> you know what I mean? You'll get eaten alive. And that's really what's happening to me right now. Like even like let's say like we're just like light grappling or something, right? And I don't really know how to you grab. Want to show him how to relax? No, no, no. <laughs> but he'll grab my wrist, and it feels like God's judgments on me. <laughs> like, I'm like, oh shit, this is a bad idea. Then he butt fucks me. <laughs> yeah, it's pretty interesting. In the beginning, like when you look at sports. Um, you kind of think, oh, you only have to do the sport like soccer or whatever, and there's enough calisthenics or there's enough like running in that sport. But you know our boy Jacob who works with us and he trains a bunch of pro athletes, NBA, Major League Baseball, NFL. I found out through him how much of a staple strength and conditioning is because they'll bring in like college, high school, high level NBA prospects that can dunk, score 50 points a game and they bring them into here and he tests them on strength and conditioning not because they're not a good basketball player, their technique is up here, just like what you're saying, like their Muay Thai is like super high, but he's testing their joints, their muscular endurance to see how long they'll last in the league. Oh, wow. So if someone could be really good at basketball and he puts them through a couple of sled drags, a couple of workouts, and he's like, this guy's gonna tear both knees and probably under a year, so it's not a good investment for Phoenix Suns or for whoever, and he's, uh, he's the guy that brings these guys and kind of breaks down the basketball component to, okay, cool. You got handles and dribbles, you can shoot, that's great, but what about you as an athlete? Can it hold up to the demands of the sport? And I think that's what you're experiencing in Muay Thai, where like, I thought just getting good at Muay Thai was gonna cover everything, but the athleticism and strength and conditioning part of it is such a big part of it too. Yeah, it's like, it's not even a joke. Yeah. So there's a, a Instagram I follow, they're, they're like, they're a legit Muay Thai camp called Yokao. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I love watching their channel. Yeah. And even for them, it's technique, but the conditioning is way harder. You know what I mean? Like in the morning, they're running three miles and they're, I'm not sure how much weights they do, but whatever type of workouts they do, their, their training part is minimal compared to all the other stuff. That they yeah, do. they're doing like thousands of crunches a day, yeah. like seven days a week. <laughs> their abs are like rock hard. Yeah. Even our boy Ron, if you guys look on Instagram, uh, Skull's Day, there's a video where John's punch him in the stomach. And like right now too, like the way that I train specifically with my coach, like he knows that I don't really want to fight. So we're working on a lot of technique and getting like stamina and, and everything else up. And if I want to start doing the conditioning, I just have to tell him, but I'm not. <laughs> I'm just like, no nah, man, I'm pretty good. <laughs> I've been avoiding it, but it's been about four months and now it's like, it's unavoidable. It's because I can feel the gap is here to here with me and other people now because it's like, they have, may have similar technique, but their condition is way better, so I, I can't keep up. Thank you guys for watching. Uh, if you like what me and David are rocking right here, the new Faction Collection just dropped. I'm wearing the olive green one. He's wearing the black one. We're also bringing back our fleece shorts, the rebirth shorts. Ooh, Check, I uh, like these, dude. Oh, you like them? I'll get you a pair. Yeah. Yeah, go to our description below or the card up here, barbellbrigade.com. See you guys next time. Peace!